Happy New Year, crew members! Welcome to the fourth developer update. After an onslaught of foundation laying, this update has concentrated on improving player engagement and expanding the variety of activities players can embark upon. As we promised last developer update, Space Wizards have arrived, joining the roster as Unity Station's fifth antagonist. For those who are unfamiliar with Space Wizards, these extraordinary collegiates are magical wrecking balls. Each wizard starts the round with one free spell, 10 spell points to spend on additional spells and magical artifacts in their spellbook, and a collection of objectives to complete on behalf of the Wizard Federation. Mentors have been added to the game. If you have any questions about server rules or how to play the game, you can seek advice by asking in the Mentor Help Chat. Many energy weapons now have firing modes, allowing many laser guns to switch between different projectile types, such as disabler bolts, taser bolts, and laser bolts. Many of the security department and syndicate weapons have gained ID-locked electronic firing pins, preventing unauthorized users from firing their weapons. Surprise! The wizard isn't the only new antagonist in this update. Those of you with keen ears and a greater than average attention span will have already seen this coming. The Blob is here, coming in as Unity Station's sixth playable antagonist. That's a check off my bucket list. The Blob's goal is straightforward but demanding, to cover a certain threshold of station tiles. When things start off, they can easily hide away from the rest of the crew, but that is also when they are their most vulnerable. Once they hit a particular size or a set period of time passes, the station is alerted to the Blob's presence. From there, it becomes a strategic battle, as the Blob must manage their growth points to both continue to grow in size and to build specialized organs to protect their core. This is a workplace safety announcement. All crew members are advised not to throw bread through the quantum telepaths. We have reports of strange mutations occurring, causing bread to grow tumors and become aggressive. That is all. There's a new exotic hazard to watch out for on the station, blue space banana peels. When you step on them, they won't just slip you, they'll teleport you to a random place nearby, and sometimes that place nearby will be the cold void of space. Wrapping paper has been added, allowing shipping goods to be properly packaged for delivery. Service bells have also been deployed to various departments on the station to shorten wait times. Just watch out for the big ones. A big boon for traders is the addition of the Pistol Silencer to the Telecrystal Uplink. Soap bars can also be used to clean blood and other messes now. Getting away with workplace homicide has never been easier. Using the random event system added in Developer Update 2, this update adds a bunch of random events that can occur throughout the shift, including communications blackout, processor overload, power net check, radiation storm, electrical storm, portal storm, scrubber surge, space carp migration, and mouse infestation. When players die in an ongoing round, it's not the end. Ghost rolls have been added to the game, giving dead players the opportunity to join back in on the fun or to test their mastery over the game's mechanics. Coupled with the ghost roll system, the Ancient Station has been added along with the Ancient Engineer Ghost Roll. This ghost roll is focused on testing your engineering and survival skills as you start in a desolate, half-destroyed station infested with hostile creatures. If you can manage to take back the station, you can either work on fun engineering projects, such as repairing the station's numerous structural and electrical issues, or you can repair the damaged shuttle and explore space around you. You can even find your way back to the main station. Explorers have a new activity to engage with in the asteroids found around the station, Xenoarchaeology. Some asteroids can have exotic and unusual artifacts to be found, each with unique properties that can be either helpful or dangerous. This update marks the release of Unity Station's new user interface. The new UI focuses on increasing clarity and unifying the player inventory to be more readable. Let's take a moment to break it all down. First, the control bar has been tightened up with most of the dead space around and especially below the buttons being removed. The internals toggle, health meter, and health doll have been moved from the right side of the screen to the main action bar, and the player health doll and the body part selector have been combined together. Suit storage, sharing a lot of qualities with pockets, has been moved over to sit with them. Suit storage and pockets also now require the appropriate clothing to use them, like Space Station 13. Additionally, hotkey indicators have been added to the inventory spaces. The old item wheel served its purpose well, but it was buggy, unpolished, and its usability was questionable when it had to deal with large numbers of items. It has been replaced with a much more stylish and scalable item wheel. 
Before we wrap everything up, we'd like to mention that the work on both addressables and health is still ongoing. The first stage of addressables arrives with this update, converting all sound effects to the new system. The next step will be converting over the game sprites and textures. Health 1.0 is still in full-time development, and large progress is being made, but there's still a ways to go. Expect more tangible progress next update. It has been one year since Unity Station launched into Open Alpha, and what an incredible year it's been. We'd like to thank the developers who donate their time and energy to making this game the best it can be. Excellent work, engineers. We would also like to acknowledge all of our patrons who provide the essential funding to keep Unity Station alive and flourishing. Thanks to them, the future of Unity Station is bright. If you're interested in supporting the project, consider signing up at patreon.com forward slash Unity Station. If you'd like to play our latest public release, then visit our Discord or go to unitystation.org to find out how. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching.